In this video, we'll look at how to use Tinkercad to program an Arduino. Now, I'm assuming that you have familiarity with Tinkercad, which is a free web-based tool for uh, circuit design, simulation, and also for 3D drawings. So what we'll do is uh, we'll actually, there is a, um, a symbol for an Arduino in Tinkercad and uh, we're going to be using that and running simulations. First, we'll learn how to use the analog input uh, in the Arduino and how to like how to read it. And based on that, we will make a variable frequency square wave generator with the Arduino. The programming, the graphical programming interface, looks something like this. So uh, this is inside the um, Tinkercad circuit design panel and if you click on code uh, you can see there is a bunch of options that show up that allows you to assemble your program uh, graphically so this is what we'll get to by the end of this video so to begin with um, let's just make sure you've got uh, components select all so that you can drop a Arduino and a small breadboard onto your uh, canvas. And now um, notice that I've already made some initial connections uh, from the Arduino, so ground and plus five volts from the Arduino to the breadboard. In this first section, we're gonna make use of the analog input by uh, reading a voltage off a potentiometer. So what I'm going to do is uh, place a potentiometer onto here. Okay, set that to um, 100K. Connect one side to plus five, and the other side to ground. Now we're going to take the wiper pin of the potentiometer and connect it to analog input A0. Okay. So at the same time, I'm going to monitor the voltage that's coming out of the middle wiper with a voltmeter. So with our connections make, let's just quickly run the simulation, just check the voltage coming out of the middle wiper here. All right, so now as I slide it, you can see it goes from zero volts to five volts. So that's good. I'm going to stop the simulation. And now what I want to do is um, read the voltage and when the voltage is uh, more than two and a half volts, I want to turn on the LED on the Arduino. Okay, so let's go to code. And I won't be going through each of these and explaining it because uh, I think the name itself is self-explanatory. Instead, I'll show you just how to use the different parts to, for example, read the analog input and turn on the LED when the um, voltage here is more than two and a half volts. So by default, it comes up with this code, which blinks the LED on and off for a second. So I'm gonna dump this, get rid of this, drag this down to the garbage can. And first, on the in clicking on the input tab, I want to read the analog pin um, A0, so that's already set up for us. But now when we read uh, what's in that pin, we need to store it into a variable. So let's go to here. We'll create a variable called uh, V. Click OK. And now 
I can set VN to the degrees on the analog pin. Now, VN doesn't actually store the actual voltage. There is an analog to digital converter inside of the Arduino. The ADC is 10 bits wide, meaning its, its output value can range from 0 to 1023. And so when we vary the potentiometer, the voltage here, a 0 here from 0 to 5 volts, the content of VN will change from 0 to 1023. So obviously the halfway point is about 512. So that's what I want to do next. So um, put the control here, and you can see that's where we have the control statements like the if and the if, then else. So I'm going to want to use that. And now what I want to do is um, do a comparison. So I hit on math here, and drag this thing here down here what I want to do is um, let's say a V in so go back to variable if that's less than 5 12 then I hit the open tab I want to turn the built-in LED I want to turn it off if it's less than that, right? Otherwise, I will turn the LED on if VN is greater than 512. Okay, so that's it. Let's run it and see what happens. Okay, so initially you can see um, the voltage coming out of here into pin A0 is zero, zero volts. And as I drag this up to two wars, two and a half, you can you notice here now the LED is turned on, right? I go the other way, it turns off. Okay, so this verifies that our initial code here with uh, analog input and interpreting value, it all works out. So now we'll proceed to build that uh, square wave generator whose frequency can be changed by using this potentiometer. So let's go back to the code and we're now going to modify this. Okay. Now, the, one of the first things I want to do is um, as I'm changing this, notice the value, of course, of Vn, this variable varies from um, 0 to 1023. I want to reduce that um, the range a bit, right? Let's say I want to you know, have a change from 0 to roughly 100. So what I need to do now is um, do a bit of math. So um, go to math here, drag one of these um, oval shape blocks down here. This, uh, you'll notice, has a bunch of mathematical operators in it. So I'm going to use the divide operation. I'm going to take V in. Let's say divide it by 10. So this whole thing now will vary from uh, 0 to about, um, let's say, 100. right? And I want to store this into a, a new variable. So I'll create another variable. Call that the time that the square wave is high, so t high. And now I want to set this to on the V in divided by 10. Okay, set this back up. Now, what I want to use here is uh, not V in, but um, uh, or I don't even need this if statement here, so let's get rid of it. Now let the square wave, I'm just going to pick a digital pin here. I'm going to pick pin 7 as the square wave output. That's where the square wave is going to come from. And so for that, let's go to um, output. 
I'm going to set, let's go here, set pin 7 to high. Then I go back to control here, and I'm going to now wait. Change this to milliseconds, and I'll wait for whatever, however amount, long distance, right? Anywhere from 0 to 100 microseconds, milliseconds. So this is the amount of time that the square wave is high for. And now, I'm going to toggle the pin low and wait the same amount of time. So we get a 50% duty cycle. Okay, so this code ought to do what I want. Read the potentiometer voltage, scale it, and then um, set the square wave um, period essentially to um, the, the value um, THI. All right, let's uh, close this up. To see what's coming out of pin seven, of course, we need an oscilloscope. We'll put that there and hook up the pins. All right. So let's run the simulation and see what we get. Okay, we can see a square wave coming out of here, and now that's I adjust the potentiometer. Well, you can see the uh, frequency of the square wave changing. Okay, so hopefully this whole uh, video, this whole exercise, gives you some idea of how to. Uh, Number one, uh, read or use the analog inputs. And number two, um, get some ideas how these different pieces and code blocks work together.